the emphasis in the Netherlands is on the happiness and fulfillment of the children. Kids are allowed to function at their natural talent. They are not under undue pressure to perform academically. Hello, thanks for joining me here again today. In today's video, we'll be discussing a very important topic that is dear to the heart of many migrant parents in the Netherlands, and that is the Dutch educational system. As a migrant myself, and having lived here for a couple of years now, I do understand these concerns, and I would like to use this video to throw more light on the educational system in the Netherlands. So stay tuned and make sure to leave your comments, your questions, and your observations in the comment section. Education in the Netherlands is compulsory for children from the ages of 5 to 16 years. Most children start primary school at the age of 4 until the age of 12, and that is from group 1 through to group 8, 8 years in the primary school. Before the age of 4, a parent can also enroll his or her child in a preschool. The preschool is not compulsory, but might be recommended for children perceived to have difficulty in learning. The preschool helps to prepare children for the primary school. During the first two years of primary school, the learning method here is focus on play. They are allowed to develop their motor skills, social skills, independence through the medium of play. So if you have a four-year-old or a five-year-old, you would notice that in the morning you find them outside playing. It doesn't matter whether it is very cold or very warm. They are a lot of the time playing outside in the sand, riding their bike, climbing, jumping, and doing all kinds of activities outdoors. This is where they, um, their, this is where their motor skills and their social skills are developed. From about age six, they start learning how to write, read, and to deal with mathematics. It's important to also point out that education is free for children in primary and secondary school in the Netherlands. Except for those who opt for specialized international schools, education is free of charge. And it is compulsory for every child resident in the Netherlands to be in school. You cannot take your child out of school without prior permission from the school authorities. Another major area of concern to a lot of parents is the choice of secondary school for their children. The decision as to what type of secondary school your child will attend in the Netherlands is solely based on the advice of the primary school. The primary school gives this advice based on the performance of the child using the CITO Toots, which they normally do two times a year. The CITO Toots is a kind of a national test that is conducted in the primary schools and it is based solely on language and mathematics. So the Dutch language and mathematics. So their scores in this test plus other activities they do in school and other subjects that they do in school and their behavioral patterns is what the school will use to advise the pathway of secondary school that the child will go. And of course, there is a concern around this because for some parents, they understand that their children are brilliant, that their kids, uh, if not for language barrier, that their kids will do much better than they are being assessed. And unfortunately, this is how the process run here. Purely based on the, acti purely based on the school tracking system, the child's educational pathway is decided. The three possible secondary school pathway that the children are recommended for are one, VMBO, two, HAVO, and three, VVO. The VMBO is for four years and it is tailored towards practical skills. The HAVO is for five years. It is tailored towards a kind, it is tailored towards University of Applied Science, while the VVO is for six years and it's tailored towards research universities. 
So that's how the educational system is designed. Next, I'm going to show you on the screen an example of the grading system. And that is the CETO tooth that I mentioned earlier. It is based on the accumulation of these results from, I think, group 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The accumulation of these results is what determines the advice of the school at the end of group 8. They will decide if this child is going towards the VMBO path, the HAVO path, or the VWO path. The, second, the primary school makes this decision. Parents, unfortunately, are not able to influence that decision. Of course, parents can influence the decision by, in advance, working on your kids' education, supporting your kids with their schoolwork, and putting in extra effort if you notice that they're not doing so well, so that they will pick up with their school performance. So on the screen, you will see result of one of my kids just to explain how this grading work. Yeah, so I wanted to show us uh, what the tracking system is like in the primary school. This is exclusively for the CETO tooths. They do the CETO test two times in a school year, the middle of the school year and the end of the school year. This is for my daughter. She is currently in group seven and uh, Ugochi arrived the Netherlands at the end of 2020. So that is why she her result is from uh, here from 2021. And when they arrived in the Netherlands, they first attended a transition Dutch class, which lasted for about four months. Ideally, it should be for one year, but the disruption of um, due to the disruption of COVID restriction and all that, they had that uh, SCACO class for about four months. But they picked the language up very quickly. I I also give um I also give uh, thanks to the teachers that handled them in that transition class because my kids picked up the language very quickly and uh, school thought that it was okay for them to join the regular school that they will be able to catch up with the language and uh, do well so ideally my daughter would have started at uh, group six that was in may 2021 but because the school recommended that she was going to miss a lot of grammatical aspects of the dutch language which she has missed in group three, group four, group five. They recommended that she should start at group five at the time, which was the end of group five. So she had just about two months in group five. And then there was the summer vacancy and she started group six. Uh, this month is the end of group seven. So she has one more year to go in the basic school. But this is what her result looks like. Uh, at the end of uh, group seven, uh, she her result is looking very, very impressive. And everything here is in Dutch language. Um, so everything and everything here is in Dutch language. This is a Bekrepent lesson, which is like reading and comprehension. And she is doing very well. The, the 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 scores are from one to five, one being the best and five being the lowest. And so she is doing excellently well in reading and comprehension. In fact, as of the end of group seven, she is her performance is well above those in group eight. In fact, the school didn't have any hesitation in giving us a preliminary secondary school advice and they said clearly she was on her way to the university pathway. They don't have any doubt about that because already her performance is above the level of those in group eight. And she actually maintained that right from the beginning. The lowest she had in this, um, in this comprehension reading was a score of two, and that was her very first class in the Netherlands. That is uh, uh, reading and comprehension. The next is mathematics. And again, you see her score remained top. I won't be too surprised with mathematics because 
it is numbers. Uh, of course, it, they still teach them in, in Dutch language, but mathematics is a number, so you can easily pick up mathematics. And I am very, very impressed that she maintained very good scores throughout the last uh, two years that she's been in the Netherlands. And her score again for mathematics is well above group eight. And next is spelling. Again, spelling in Dutch language. Impressively, she is doing very well, even in Dutch language, even though she's here only two years in the Netherlands, in the Dutch school system. Her performance in spelling is still top, which I find very, which I am so, 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 so grateful to God for because I was quite concerned about, she was doing very well in Nigeria. She was scoring top when she was in Nigeria, but I was very concerned about the impact of the Dutch language, but to the glory of God, she's, she's been able to maintain her great scores, even though she is now switched from English classes to Dutch classes. And in the DMT reading, she's still doing very, very well. Again, above the level of group eight. This is the end of group seven. Her technical reading in Dutch language is very, very good. And I wanted to show this first to encourage parents who might be seriously concerned about the Dutch language and how it will affect the intelligence of their children in the Netherlands. This is a typical example that a child that is intelligent and smart could still maintain her level of intelligence, even though there is a switch in language. Secondly, it is also to debunk the notion that teachers in the Netherlands grade our children poorly so that they can put them in the lower academic pathway. I have not experienced that so far. I have three kids, 12, 10, and 8. And the scores of all the three of them mimic the same pattern. I have not so far experienced that they are intentionally graded lower than their actual intelligence level. So just for the parents out there, it is very, very possible for your kids to do very well in Dutch language when they relocate to the Netherlands. But I also understand that some children struggle with the Dutch language. And in that case, as a parent, you then need to put in extra effort to help the child uh, pick up with the language. Uh, some parents opt to put them in international school where they speak English and partly partly English and partly Dutch. It's up to you as a parent. It is also important to note here that even though my daughter is at this level of performance, she is not interested in being a doctor. She is not interested in being a lawyer. She is not interested in being an accountant like myself. So it may not necessarily be that she will go to the university. She may choose to do something else that is not related to university. University is overrated. It's only for those who are going, it's, it's actually for those who really want to subject themselves to that rigorous academic exercise and research and theory-based classes. My daughter is crazy about drawing. That is what her obsession is. I would like that she have a professional career and pathway while she still pursue her artistic uh, gifts. But in the end, I am very much open. I will support whatever path she chooses to go. So that is also important for us as parents. So we need to be open-minded about these things as parents and give our children all the support they need to pursue their talents. Before I chose a school for my children, I actually researched a couple of schools within my, 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 my location just to see uh, what their performances have been and things like that. And it's, it's important to note that about 
usually are going towards the university pathway, more than 50% going towards the occupational pathway. Of course, a child can still, via bridge classes in the future, still continue to the university path, still end up in the university. But Overall, the emphasis in the Netherlands is on the happiness and fulfillment of the children. Kids are allowed to function at their natural talent. They are not under undue pressure to perform academically. There is room for everyone and there is opportunity for everyone to do well in the Netherlands. So being on the university pathway is not the ultimate goal for everyone in the Netherlands. So bear it in mind that the happiness of the child is paramount in these decisions. So if you're one of those parents that want your child to be a doctor, a lawyer, a pharmacist, or some of those high-ranking professionals, I just want to point out that you need to manage your expectations very well. So you as a parent, if you want your child to perform more than you are seeing presently, you need to see how to emotionally psych your child up so that he is able to operate from a place of motivation and willingness, not from a place of coercion or forcefulness or competition. Another thing as a migrant parent is when you newly arrive in the Netherlands, you are not likely going to put your children direct into the basic school. Take advantage of the transition class which they usually provide, which is focused on teaching them the language. Uh, usually it should be for one year, but my kids attended for like four months, partly due to the COVID uh, challenges in 2020 slash 2021, but also they picked up very fast the language and the school thought that it was perfectly okay to put them into the regular basic school. And that four months that they did for those intensive Dutch classes, I can really see the impact that it had on them. They really picked the language very fast. So if you are still in Nigeria, you have not yet arrived in the Netherlands, and you're planning to come to the Netherlands in the future, you want to make sure that the, your kids are well-grounded already in Nigeria because it's a lot easier for them to pick up. They just need to learn the new language. Every other thing just flows smoothly. So the, the, the foundation my children had in Nigeria really, really, really helped them in picking up very quickly here. And I am keeping an eye on them because when they come to the Netherlands, they realize that they are not being forced to do homework. They are not being forced to do after school lessons. They are not being forced to come to Saturday lessons and all of those extracurricular activities that we have in Nigeria. So they relax. Your role as a parent is to keep an eye on them and make sure that they are not lagging behind. And with all of this, trust, having faith in them, loving them regardless, telling them that you are proud of them and that whatever path they choose in life, as long as it is legit, they can take care of themselves, be responsible society members, just tell them that you are happy with them and you love them. And you will find that they will be successful in the end. That brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully you found this content helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing if you have not done so already. And if you have done so, give us a thumbs up. Share it with somebody who might also enjoy it. And click on the screen and watch the next video. I will talk to you again soon.